professionally you've worked through i've got here um seven prime minister now and now on your eighth prime minister yeah. and we were joking before that it's not far off the queen's yeah. 15 so you yeah. need to hang in there a little bit longer to break yeah. that record um which government was the easiest to work with or in um that's a very uh... Are, are any governments easy? No. I don't know because, um, you know, they're all under phenomenal pressures. Budgets are under phenomenal pressures. I think the, the trickiest part of any of, of the work is the transition between governments. So particularly when we have a general election, it's, it can't be known what the outcome might be. There's this, you know, people might have a good guess. They might think, it well, it's odds on it to be of a, a blue or a red colour, but nobody can really know what the outcome might be. And of course, whilst the election's ongoing, there's a hiatus in government activity. Depending on who becomes PM after the election, then you might have another hiatus. Well, um, policies are formed, ministerial departments um, go through their reviews and look at what policies needed and so on and so forth. And that transition can lead to quite a hiatus. So once you've managed to work your way through that, and get on top of what the new policy agenda will look like, whether it's in health or housing for HMRC, for, uh, HMRC and Treasury, then you can start to have that informed conversation with the client who are invariably civil servants now under their own transition and getting to grips with who the new incoming government is. So it, it's less about the government per se, it's more about managing the transitions and managing the changing policy agendas.